People keep asking me to do a video on calibrating your silhouette. The main reason you wanted to, you would want to calibrate your silhouette is to do print and cut projects. One of the things that you should think about is that the silhouette mats are designed to work properly with your silhouette machine. So if you're using a different type of a mat, that can affect how the material is being taken through your cutter. Um, so my video is being based on you using silhouette mats for your cuts. The first thing I need to do to calibrate my silhouette is to click the send to silhouette icon up in the far right corner of my screen. Then I'm going to right click and choose calibration. And then this screen is displayed for me and I'm going to need to send that to my printer. So to do that, I'm going to click over here and choose print test page. That's going to go to the wrong printer. So I'm going to choose the correct one and print. So now my printer is printing out this page. So you're going to see that you've got a bunch of crosses on your page. On the software, it shows that there are little green boxes showing here, but they're not actually printed. So what you need to do is you need to load this onto your mat and into your silhouette and then position your blade over one of those green squares. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to cut mat. And then I'm going to use these arrows down here. And if you had the, the original silhouette cameo, you would have your direction keys up in this area in the circle. So I need to move this now to go forward. I'm pressing the down button to move forward. And then the right arrow key to move to the right. Okay, so I figured out how to use this. When you want to move to the left or the right, you press the button until it starts moving and you press it again to stop it. So now I'm moving to the right. I'm going to press my arrow key. And when I want it to stop, I press it again. I didn't catch it fast enough. <laughs> so I'm going to go back. And a bit more. And I'll press the right arrow key again. Strange way to do this. Now it's gone forward a bit and that's too far okay that's about right and then my right arrow okay so now it should be in that green area my blade should be in that green area shown on the screen and you'll see that it did actually cut exactly right where it was supposed to cut so that my distance calibration is set correctly if my lines had not cut exactly where they needed to be, then I would need to move these arrows along the rulers horizontally and vertically and try again until I cut exactly on those lines. I realize that this is probably a little bit confusing, so I'm going to explain it again. The first time around, the first thing is once this prints out, you don't have these green squares on your printout. It's a little bit silly that they've done it this way, but what you need to do is you need to go over to your machine and place your blade over this green area. And that's what I was doing, moving the arrows around. Once you've got the blade over a green area, you come over here and you click calibrate and that is going to cut this cross, hopefully right on the line. And if it's not right on the line, you need to come over here 
and move these arrows slightly the amount that your cut is off either up and down vertically or sideways horizontally to compensate for the amount that your cut is off. The next thing you need to do is calibrate for these lines over here. And what you do then is, let's go back to this button. I'm gonna exit calibration. I'm gonna right click on start and I'm gonna choose distance adjustment. I've already printed the page, so I don't need to do that, but I'm gonna go put this paper back on my mat, go over to the Cameo. It's already on my mat. So I'm just gonna load it into my machine and load the cut mat. And now I'm gonna cut my test lines. So it's not cutting these lines over here. All it's gonna cut is right over here, a little line, and over here, or I should say over here, and then over here. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm measuring the line that it cut above the A and above the B, or below the B, and it's exactly 20 centimeters, and that's what it's supposed to be. And now I'm gonna measure the line at the one and at the two. And again, it's exactly 20 centimeters and that's where it's supposed to be. So that means that my machine is perfectly calibrated for print and cut. So I don't need to make any adjustments here, but if you did need to make them, you do the same thing. For your distance between one and two, whatever amount it's off, you adjust it here. Same thing for the distance between A and B. This is A and B. This is one and two and you would adjust here, and you would cut those lines again, and then check again, see if they are correct or not. They should be 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters. And if your lines are off, you need to adjust again. Once your lines are exactly right on, you can exit distance adjustment, and you know that you're fine. Your machine will be calibrated. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of this useful information. Thanks so much for watching.